a very good afternoon to all the doctors who have appeared for NEET PG 2023 and are qualified. Uh, this video is made for all the qualified doctors as well as for the candidates who are waiting to be qualified after the, the revised cutoff. We are anticipating a revised cutoff. It happens every year. In 2018, it got 6 percentile. In 2019, it was 10 percentile. In 2020, it was 20 percentile. 21 again, it was 15 percentile. And 2022, as we all know, it was a huge 25th percentile cutoff reduction. So today we are here to uh, give you information regarding uh, MCC or All India Quota Counseling. And I hope this video is useful to you. So without wasting any time, let's start. So the table of content, as you can see, uh, it is uh, today what we are going to dis uh, discuss is or uh, what we are going to provide information about is the cutoffs, uh, counseling by MCC and the institutes, NRI reservation, all India quota counseling, admission details and the documents required. Uh, definitely the video will be there always but still if you can take a pen or a paper to note down the details it would be useful to you before beginning let's uh, see we have a special message for you the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach get the best education with india to international and make your ndms and mbbs dreams come true download the app now thank you for taking out time okay now let's begin uh, Revise cutoff scores of NEET PG 2022 after lowering the cutoff. Okay, so in 2022, uh, the previous cutoffs, uh, when the results were declared uh, after NEET PG, it was again in record time 10 12 days only. The 50th percentile, the cutoff was 275. Okay, then after round one of MCC counseling and before the round two of state counseling, what I remember, uh, the revised cutoff was 201. Okay, for SC, OBC, ST, it was 40th percentile, 245, and then after revision of cutoff, it was 169. Okay, and uh, uh, it was total of 15th percentile of the total number of candidates. And uh, the person with uh, uh, disability, that is benchmark disability, it was 45th percentile at the beginning. Uh, it was 260 marks. Then it happened to be after revised cutoff, it was 186 marks. So here we see NEET PG 2023. Okay. 50th percentile, it stands at 291 for general. For SC, ST, OBC, it is 257. Okay. And for person with benchmark disability, it is 274 marks. But this year we are not anticipating a big revised cutoff. The reason behind it is. Uh, uh, the number of eligible candidates are more though the number of definitely the number of candidates who have appeared in the exam are also more the previous year number of eligible candidates were around the uh, 80 89,000 or something like that but this year we are having uh, number of candidates who are qualified are around 1 lakh 6,000 or 1 lakh 4,000 something like that so we are not expect, expecting a big dip this year in revised cutoff. So we have anticipated uh, around seven to ten percentile. Uh, we are these are these are pure anticipation. Please do not uh, take it too seriously. But uh, we are expecting for general it should be two fifty one for SCOBC it should be two hundred and seventeen and for person with disability benchmark disability it should be two thirty four. This is our anticipation. We keep the fingers crossed and we hope that the, every candidate gets the benefit. Whoever has scored about two hundred marks, we would be definitely uh, praying for them. Okay, now let's go on to. The third page, this is the comparison of rank versus marks between 21, 22 and 23. Now, uh, you can clearly see uh, in 2021 exam on 700 marks, there were eight candidates. Okay. And uh, the, the rank was like eight candidates were qualified, uh, which were in top eight candidates. Okay. And uh, in 2022, there was uh, only one candidate. And in 2023, there are 20 candidates. So the competition has 100% gone up. 
okay comparing to 2021 and 22 okay so if you can see uh, this is uh, 650 marks the rank uh, what you were supposed to uh, in 2021 the rank was 388 but here the rank is 412 and uh, you can clearly see in 2022 it was 139 so this gap between 139 and 412 is a very big gap so i would genuinely suggest every candidate they do not uh, be uh, too much dependable on previous year cutoffs while making the decision or while doing the choice fillings okay here also if you can see the candidates who are having uh, 500 marks the previous year rank was uh, 2021 uh, the rank was 17000 but in 2022 it was 11000 okay and in 2023 it is 18000 the competition has clearly gone up okay you can clearly see that you cannot be dependent on 2022 cutoffs okay see i i understand in 2021 there were less seats in 2022 the seats were increased but the seats were not increased in thousands of numbers okay it was a few number okay it was approximately a uh, uh, good amount of seats at least uh, i believe 400 to 500 number of seats but all were not clinical all were not uh, top branches like medicine uh, gynac radio or dharma so make sure whenever you're put taking a decision see if if on 275 marks okay last year in 2021 the rank was 95,000 in 2022 it was 90,000 okay so 90,000 candidates were eligible last year this year it is around 1 lakh 17 uh, 1 lakh 7,000 and in 2023 on the same score 275 marks the rank is 1 lakh 10,162 okay so you can clearly see the jump okay on 300 marks the rank was 80,000 um in 2021 in 2022 it it was 73000 but this year the rank is 96094 okay so please uh, do not make any decisions because the admission happens on all india rank not on marks so make sure you tally with last year you do not tally with 2022 uh, rank rank okay you may set your goals. Uh, yeah, this would be a good idea if you consider 2021 cutoff, being very honest. This would be a good uh, way of uh, doing the choice filling. 2021 cutoff, if you, because the competition is nearly same. See, uh, on 600 marks, in 2021, the rank was 200 and, uh, 2,776. 2023, it's 2,585. So, uh, it is in close proximity okay so you can take a judgment of 2021 uh, choice uh, results but not on 2022 please it's a sincere request there's a big change there's a big big shift okay okay uh, i hope uh, i was able to communicate uh, what i wanted to it shows it on your screen also i hope uh, if there's any confusion you can always call us we'll be definitely providing you with our numbers also okay now coming on to uh, mcc counseling scheme okay this will be an online mode which everybody knows and the website would be www.mccnic.in now there would be four rounds of counseling round one round two mop up round which is also known as third round and stray vacancy round stray vacancy round will be only conducted if there are any seats uh, uh, if there are any seats remain uh, if any seats remain vacant okay generally the seats remain do weekend generally they had to conduct for, for round one round two mop up round and stay vacancy round kindly note the stay vacancy round for the dean university will be conducted by respective dean university mcc uh, will be conducting only three rounds for dean university that is round one round two and mop up round and balance seats which are vacant after round uh, mop up round those will be reverted back to the dean university and further they will be doing the procedure Okay, uh, we'll come on to that in details also uh, uh, in the video. Do not worry. Now, MCC counseling process, uh, the institutes, okay, the MCC will be um, conducting counseling on 50% of all India quota seats uh, uh, on all the states, all the government colleges, 50% seats will be under MCC counseling. Okay, now 50% uh, AIPG seats under Employee State Insurance Corporate College. Okay, 
hundred uh, percent of the deemed universities MCC will be conducting the counselling. Do not keep in mind that NRI counselling won't uh, NRI quota counselling is not under MCC. No, it is under MCC only. The NRI category uh, seats also are under MCC category uh, under MCC counselling only. Okay. It is not that if somebody is saying that no, we'll get your seat under uh, MCC counselling and uh, uh, under uh, uh, NRI quota without MCC counselling. No, it won't be possible. Hundred percent of the seats of each and every deemed university is under MCC counselling. Uh, okay, and uh, AFMC, uh, F AFMS, that is Air Force Medical Sciences Institution. Uh, the registration part will be uh, responsibility of MCC. Rest, the counseling and the other tests will be conducted by the respective institute. Now, central institutes like uh, Savardhan Hospital, Atal Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences, RML Hospital, uh, PGI uh, Chandigarh, and 50% seats of IP University, the counseling will be through MCC only. 100% seats of Central University, that is Aligarh Muslim University, Banara Sindhu University, and University of Delhi. Seats counseling, 100% seat counseling will be only through MCC. Okay, if you have any confusion, you can always give, give us a call, but we have a chart uh, uh, ahead in the video will, which will make it very clear. Okay, let's move ahead because we do not want the video to be too long. That's why I am a bit fast. Okay. Uh, now, NRI quota seats. Now, the NRI quota seats are the seats which are under MCC counseling only. Every beam university has a 15% NRI quota seats. Okay. Uh, there are various uh, documents which are required for the candidate to claim an NRI quota seat. For details, you can always uh, contact us. It's clearly mentioned a special guidance for NRI quotas. Admission is given by India to International. Candidate can call us to know more about NRI quota admission on discounted NRI fees. Make sure we'll also try to get a discount on NRI quota fees. Okay, now talking more about NRI quota, it's that uh, a if you if you if you compare the cutoff of general management seats and nri quota seats the nri quota seats cutoff is always on a higher side okay so a candidate who's having a rank of 80000 85000 and looking for a derma and a radio and definitely he can try under nri quota he has a good chance to get into a decent deemed university okay because nri quota is only available under deemed university no other uh, private uh, no other colleges government colleges or any state colleges state private colleges have but that those come under state counseling okay here we are discussing only about mcc counseling so every deemed university has uh, <coughs> nri quota and generally the um, the cutoff is very higher than regular quota and it is 15 percent seats of total intake Okay, not of a branch intake, the total intake. Suppose a, a college has an intake of uh, PG seats of uh, 200. So 30 seats of different branches will be under NRI quota. Okay, to get more guidance on NRI quota, you can definitely get in touch with us. Uh, rest all uh, uh, remains the same. Uh, uh, the uh, re recognition of the uh, seats under uh, NRI quota remains the same. The bond. Uh, uh, conditions remains the same okay but for nri quota also the candidate if uh, has to go through mcc counseling only and if he's allotted a seat under nri quota in a particular college he has to complete the nri formalities okay we give up special guidance under nri quota if, if anybody requires it definitely can get in touch with us okay Anything um, if I missed out? No, I don't think so. I missed out. Okay. Uh, regarding the documents parts, we have already put a video regarding the document parts uh, on the channel. You can definitely browse uh, the video. And we have also uh, uploaded, we had uploaded for 2022 counseling. Uh, we have given it, uh, in detail the, all the uh, documents, the sequence of the documents, the requirement of the documents have been already uh, posted on the YouTube this channel only okay so now moving ahead fastly we do not uh, want to make this video long again I would say uh, this is a uh, flow chart of the MCC counseling I know you cannot see it very clearly so okay okay okay, okay. fine uh, what we'll do is like we have a uh, 
another another uh, uh, slide where you can read it very uh, carefully and we'll make you understand what are the probabilities and possibilities after round one round two mop up round we'll make you understand in detail so let's begin with the round one there will be fresh registration and choice filling in round one okay if any seat is allotted to the candidate they will be having three options one is if you have been allotted any seat it may be government uh, it may be dnb or it may be uh, in uh, deemed you have three options okay first option is uh, join and close your admission if you're satisfied with your course and the institute okay suppose you're not happy with the seat but you do not want to risk it so join the institute pay the fees apply for the upgradation okay and suppose you have got the seat but you do not feel like joining you want to try in second round you can easily take a free exit there will be no penalty of your security deposit being fortified okay so if you get a seat there are three options first is join and close your admission second is join apply for upgradation third is take a free exit do not do anything apply for second round applying means there won't be any fresh registration for you you have already done the registration you just need to do fresh choiling fresh choice filling for round two I hope this is clear. If anybody has any confusion, you can always give us a call. Okay, now let's move ahead. Round two of counseling. Okay, there will be a fresh registration and fee payment only for those who have not paid the fees or who haven't registered for MCC counseling at the time of round one. Okay, now candidates who took a free exit, okay, and wants to try again, they do not need to do any registration, they do not need to pay any security amount, they just have to do and choice fill. The candidate who went to the college, joined the seat, apply for the upgradation, has to only fill the choices. Okay, now the candidate fresh joining choice is also required for newly registering, who will be registering first time in the second round so those candidates have to also do a fresh join filling now if any seat allotted the candidates will be having again three options join and confirm your admission or if you're exiting that again uh, like suppose you got the seat but you do not want to join you haven't liked the seat you haven't liked the college the exposure is not good you your security your uh, security deposit will be forfeit forfeited but you can exit the system and then if you've got the seat there won't be any option to upgrade the seat okay again we have three options join confirm your admission close your admission join your institute second option will be if you want to exit the security deposit will be lost you can exit the system okay there is the option that you can come back and register freshly in the mop up round but you're losing your security deposit you're exiting the system for the time being third there will be no upgradation okay fresh choice filling will be for the candidates who have applied for upgradation who registered first time for their uh, round two counseling who registered first time there will be fresh choice filling for round two okay i hope it is clear and if there is any confusion you can always give us a call on this okay let's move ahead uh, mop up round of counseling which is known as basically third round and it is also called mop up round of counseling okay candidates who are allotted a seat in round two and joined are not eligible for this round the candidates who have already closed their admission in round two they cannot move out of that seat they will be joining the college and they would have by the time mop up round starts they would have been in their services okay the fresh registrations will be allowed for this round now press registration for there will be two types of candidates first who hasn't yet registered for mcc counseling they did not register for round one round two now there will be only registration registering for mop up round now there will be different sets of uh, set of candidates who have registered for round one or round two but they have taken an exit after losing their security deposit they also can register for mop up round but they have to pay a new security deposit again okay so i hope this was clear and candidate who took an exit with a forfeiture of security fee deposit in round two can register again by paying the security deposit right there will be fresh choice filling for everyone 
okay no matter the candidate who hasn't got a seat in round one round two and he's trying in mop up round he has to do a fresh choice filling fresh registrations who have uh, uh, again registered for mop up round okay they have to uh, do the choice filling and the candidates who are registering for the first time in the mop up round they have to do also the choice filling. okay now what will be the conditions if you got a seat in this round join the allotted college complete your admission formality or if you got a seat and you do not want to take a seat, you need to exit with your forfeiture of security deposit and you won't be eligible for stray vacancy round. Okay. I hope this was clear. If there's any confusion, you can always give us a call. Again, I would say the procedure is very simple. Just you need to be aware. Just you need to be reading the information brochure very carefully. There is no rocket science. You all are MBBS doctors. It is very, very simple. Don't confuse yourself by listening too much of too many people. Okay, great. Okay, now this is final round, stay vacancy round, if any. Now, there won't be any fresh registration for this round. The candidates who haven't got the any seat in these three rounds, first round, second round, mop-up round, or the candidates who registered at the time of first round hasn't got a seat in uh, mop up round second round first round or the candidate who registered in the round two but hasn't got a seat in round two mop up round or a candidate who just registered for mop up round and did not get a seat in mop up round they will be only eligible for stray vacancy round there won't be any fresh registration and stray vacancy round will be only for government institutions or dnb institutions only Okay, stray vacancy round of deemed universities will be conducted by a respective deemed university. There won't be any fresh choice filling. The options what you had submitted at the time of mop up round only, those will be considered. And if any of these seats are available at the time of stray vacancy round, you will be offered that seats. Okay, so only those candidates who did not get a seat in previous round of counseling, it may be round one, round two, mop up round. Or all three rounds, the candidates who haven't got the seat or the candidate who registered at the time of uh, round two but did not get a seat in round two and mop-up round is eligible. The candidate who did not get a seat in uh, mop-up round but registered at the time of mop-up round did not get a seat will be eligible. But there won't be any fresh choice filling. Okay, And stay vacancy round for the deemed university only deep universities will be conducting those rounds okay and at the time of stay vacancy round the dean universities release their own application form you have to be continuously touching on each and every deep universities website there will be fresh application forms of every respective dean university every respective dean university would be having their stay vacancy round counseling dates a lot of times a lot of dates do get clash so please make sure at the time of stay vacancy round which college you are looking at what is the fee structure which college you want to apply what specializations are available at that time because at the a lot of time uh, it happens that one college is in chennai and other college is in maharashtra okay and both the counseling dates on the same date so you have to see the vacancy of that particular university the fee structure you need to compare the fee structure of the particular those two university and on that date which place you can reach easily and on time to appear in stray vacancy down I hope this was clear. Let's move ahead. Now, institutes and uh, seats under MCC counseling. All the NEET PG qualified would be eligible for All India Quota seats. Uh, employ uh, ESIC, okay, seats and AFMC seats, okay. And uh, uh, central universities, 50% seats are All India Quota seats and 50% will be internal quota so now uh, a lot of candidates do confuse in this that is central quota uh, universities 50 percent seats are all india quota seat that on 50 percent seats every anybody from india can apply on these 50 percent seats but 50 percent will be for the candidates who have completed their suppose we are applying for aligur muslim university or banara sindhu muslim uh, banara sindhu university so the candidates who have done their mbbs from bhu or the candidates who have done their MBBS from Aligarh Muslim University, 50% seats will be reserved for those candidates. Rest 50%, definitely the candidates who have uh, done uh, MBBS from across India can apply on those 50% of the seats. Now, okay, here it is clearly mentioned the candidates who have completed MBBS from DU are eligible for 50% internal quota seats. MBBS from AMU, BHU, IP universities are eligible for respective 50% quota seats. 
<clears throat> I hope I was very clear in that. Uh, we have prepared a chart uh, that is we have taken it from the information brochure only. It is not that we have prepared. Okay, so you can see AMU if you uh, yeah the MCC counseling only uh, AMU Aligarh Muslim University fifty percent all over India candidates can apply fifty percent internal seats. Uh, same goes with uh, Aligarh and uh, uh, same here BHU you can see fifty percent all India quota and uh, Institute of Medical Sciences Banaras Hindu University Institute of Dental Sciences Banaras Hindu University. Uh, this is the uh, intake. 50% is the intake. Okay. Yes. Now, details you should know before uh, filling the choices. Yeah, this is very important because we have enough time, right? We have time. Uh, now, today, if you're talking, it's 17th of March. Now, the counseling is not uh, happening before uh, 15th of July. I don't think so. It will happen. Okay. Or any notification will be there. But especially I would like to draw your attention that you have enough time and I genuinely suggest every candidate to uh, think about giving an INICET because uh, see you will be having enough time after INICET also. Okay. Uh, you can decide on uh, specialization. You can decide on what budget you are looking at. You can also uh, discuss various things on what state has which, how many years bond, what is the bond penalty. Documents required, we will be definitely letting you. Uh, college hospital details like number of beds, hostel, IPD, OPD, infrastructure and all the stipend details. You can always, these are not, uh, uh, these are not that kind time consuming you have more than two months after INICET also. So, and what the exam uh, INICET will make you is better because uh, by studying, appearing in INICET and suppose if you do not get through in INICET, what, what, what's the worst that's going to happen? That you're going to induce that knowledge into yourself, right? After, if you do not get through in INICET and you're uh, applying for MCC counseling in month of July. So, if, if you got through, suppose somebody had a bad day on 5th of March, might have a great day on 7th of May, right? So, if you if you get through in INICT, wonderful. If you do not get through, then also that knowledge is going to be with you that whatever you have studied or whatever you have appeared in the exam or whatever, what experience or what you have learned in that exam for that exam or on that day on that exam will be always there with you uh, as an experience of life, right? So, and these, these things uh, like specialization, lot 90% of uh, students are clear what specialization they have. Yeah, they might have uh, three different options uh, as uh, in priority order, uh, branch one, branch two, branch three. Okay. Fee structure, yet the fee structure of not of any university has been declared. Okay. The bond details, normally it remains from one year to two year for the deemed university for state. There are different, but you can easily find it out. The, it won't take... Uh, four months of time okay documents required we are already letting you know in this video itself okay and the college hospital number of details hostel ipd opd infrastructure it's not a very big information you will 100 percent come across we are in fact uh, uh, coming up with a platform where you will be having a college predictor okay where you just need to i uh, you just need to put your rank Wherever in India, wherever in India you are eligible, it will show you the eligibility in what states you are eligible, in what quota you are eligible, as well as it will show the prediction of the colleges with IPD, OPD information, with number of beds hospitals, with infrastructure. We are also trying to get in touch with some colleges so that they could tell you about the colleges and the hospitals, what they are running, especially deemed universities. We are also trying to uh, give you an, uh, uh, like a feedback, uh, 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 introduction of every university, uh, uh, every deemed university would uh, show its uh, uh, infrastructure. The, we, are, we are in a process. That is far too ahead. But uh, coming on to the thing, uh, these things won't require more than 15 days. So, you have enough time. I would suggest everyone to go and appear for INICT. Uh, it would make you a better doctor and a better person. And uh, now, coming on to the documents required at the time of admission, candidates need to 
uh, suppose you have been allotted a seat candidates need to carry all the all original documents with minimum of three photocopies of all the documents here you need to check the website of uh, the particular college where you have been allotted a seat they have their bond format they have their uh, ragging uh, 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 like uh, a bond of that you won't be ragging or you won't be involved in the activities of ragging there are different uh, uh, conditions uh, uh, which uh, you need to fulfill uh, after getting admitted okay these are very regular conditions that you won't be allowed in that you won't be uh, you won't be uh, uh, in being involved in ragging activities or you won't uh, you will be serving the bond so uh, whichever college you have been allotted check a website of that college you'll be getting all the details and uh, you need to carry all your original documents right from 10th 12th mbbs part one part two final year and then allotment letter by mcc admit card by uh, nbe neat pg result by nbe mbbs mark sheet of all years as i said internship completion certificate is very important you need to have a state uh, registration or nmc registration hsc ssc certificates as i said and the voter id or the passport or the Aadhaar card, any of your identity card and your category certificate if applicable. Okay, though it is not a big rocket science that you need to worry about. You have enough time. Okay, now, uh, okay, now candidates who are deciding for various specialization. Now, this is super specialization eligibility branch wise. Okay, suppose if a candidate is planning to uh, apply for DM cardiology, he need to uh, get admission into MD or DNB medicine. If he is looking out for a DM clinical hematology in future, so he needs an eligibility that is he should be an MD uh, medicine or if you are looking at clinical ph uh, pharmacology in DM. So the candidate needs to have a DNB or MD in pharmacology. We have just uh, set up this super specialization eligibility branch wise because a lot of candidates do not know uh, after completing which branch they will be el eligible for what branch. Okay. Now uh, the pe for pediatric gastroenterology, you need to be have to have MD DNB in pediatric only. Okay. For a child and uh, adolescent uh, psychiatry, you need to have a psychiatry branch. For hepatology. Yes, you can be an MD pediatric as well as an MD general medicine also. So, uh, surgical oncology, if you can see, you ha can have a MS DNB in orthopedics also, obstructive gynec also, or even surgery also. Okay, so we have put this uh, super specialization eligibility branch wise. If anybody wants that also, we'll be definitely providing you a PDF. Okay, I hope this video was useful to you all. Uh, thank you for taking out time and watching this video. I wish you everyone a very best and if anybody needs any kind of guidance help you can always get in touch with us especially the candidates who are having a very higher rank and looking out for the seats in Deem University under NRI quota yes we would be very glad to help we always uh, try to get you a very good discount in NRI fees and I uh, thank you all for taking out time and watching this video this is our uh, contact details uh, you may kindly note it down uh, this is our address and the phone numbers are provided over here. You can kindly note down the phone numbers and it was very glad to bring you this information. We are very thankful to you that you uh, gave us time to serve you. You invested your time. We are very thankful and God bless you all. I wish everyone a very happy thoughts.